Good morning. It is now Monday, uh, the 9th of November, and Wales is officially out of lockdown measures. There are rules, um, but we can now go shopping in non-essential shops. We can now visit with family. Um, pubs, restaurants, hairdressers are allowed to reopen. Um, I will see how it goes. Then they haven't ruled out further lockdown measures. And I've got a feeling that after Christmas, if not before, there will be another one. Um, but I think as long as people are careful, we should be okay. Now, over here in, in, in my house, the only people I want to see are my parents. I'm not going to go mad. I might go to the pub. If it's nice and I can sit outside. I don't care how cold it is. I'm happy to sit outside. It's better for Jennifer anyway, because she runs around. Um, but generally, I'm happy just to be able to go and do non-essential things, buy non-essential things, stuff like Christmas shopping and things like that, and start getting that sorted. Although I'm, I'm, I've already started, so it's not a major issue. I've just got a few things to get. So this is a non-lockdown week vlog. Yay! We're out. We're free, so to speak. As free as we can be. It's still... Um, we've still got to be sensible. We've still got to be careful. Um, I've still got to work. I've worked anyway, so I'm, lucky. I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lost any money or not been able to go to work or lost my job. So, this afternoon I will be going to see my mum and dad officially. Um, taking Jennifer down there to see them and uh, spend a bit of time with them. Paul's got training this afternoon, so it's better that we're out. Anyway, that's my breakfast, so I'm going to go grab that. I'll see you in a little bit. Freedom. So we're at Grandad. Jennifer's helping him in the garden. Just shut the gate because we don't want the dog to come out. Hey Jennifer, are you wearing waffle? You alright? We're going to go and see Daddy now, see how he is. That's Grandad. No, no, Grandad can't come in the car. Grandad got the word. Oh. Yeah. She pretty girl. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I forgot to wrap up the vlog for yesterday. Um, not a lot happened. We went, um, came back from Mum and Dad, and we, me and Jennifer, well, we messed about, played, played a few games, uh, sat on the sofa. We watched a bit of TV. Read her some stories and then we've messed around. She had a nice, hot, nice, lovely warm bath. And after that, we snuggle up together on the floor. I, I, I hold, wrap her up in a blanket and we watch a bit of TV and I get ready for bed. And then we, we fooled around a bit on the sofa, just playing, playing games, messing around. It was so sweet and funny while Paul was talking to his mum. And she was in bed nice and early for seven, crashed out immediately, slept all night. Bless her, she was exhausted. Did not want to get up this morning. So last night I decided I didn't want to do any colouring because I had been colouring earlier in the day with Jen. So I read, I finally finished. Mae West, It Ain't No Sin by Simon Luvish. Enjoyed it. I've got three biographies on Mae West and one, I've got her, the films of Mae West. So I don't need to read the other one just yet, but I'm, I'm glad to have finished that one. I really enjoyed it. it. Took me a while to get through it, but I did enjoy it. And it's nice to see the photographs of her as well. And I also finished Time with Norma Jean by uh, Elise Douglas, which is obviously a time travel novel. I really enjoyed it. There's a lot of Marilyn's own words in it, things you've read that she's said over the course of her entire life. And it was very enjoyable. I really, really did enjoy it. It was, it was a nice little fun novel to read. Um, so I've pulled off of my shelves to read now. I'm going to reread the color shelves, The Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett, because I need a bit of comfort reading because it's winter. I'm going to start rereading my entire Pratchett collection and I, for non-fiction although I've still got the Agatha Christie complete uh, notebooks to work through I'm also going to be reading The Princess in the Tower. Did Richard III murder his nephews Edward IV and Richard of York by Josephine Wilkinson. So I've pulled that one out we want to read that for a bit so I pulled that off the shelf last night ready read the introduction and um, yeah we'll see how that goes I'm going to get ready for work and uh, start the, the boring part of the day. I say it's boring, it's, it's not, it's interesting work, it is interesting talking to these people, but it's boring in the sense that it's not reading what I want to read or colouring what I want to colour or doing eBay, which I do need to get back to. So I better crack on. I'll see you when I get Jen.
bye. Hey guys, it's uh, I've forgotten. It's Tuesday evening and uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Jennifer's in bed, she's sound asleep. It's bedtime, I haven't vlogged at all today, I've just been, I'm gonna do some video in. I'm going to do a colouring chart and finish off a video. Maybe do a bit of another one. And then I'm going to uh, read some of my books. Um, reading The Car of Magic, reading The Princess and the Tower. So I'll read some of that. So hopefully I'll vlog a bit more tomorrow. It's Wednesday tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye guys. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning and I'm just setting up my computer to start work. Um, last night I was doing my colouring chat and I put down the fire remote, I was doing something with it and now I can't find it, literally I put it on bed and it's disappeared. Cannot find it anywhere. It's here somewhere, I will have to have a look for it later, I haven't got time now. And of course I didn't really want to do it at bedtime because I wanted to read some of my book and go to sleep. So Jennifer's at nursery, everything's fine, Paul's downstairs, got Argus coming to pick up a stair, stair gate that we didn't use, didn't like was too complicated so we have got one that's fine and uh, she cannot use them so that's good she can't climb over them which is good um, she's fine she's at nursery so we'll be going down to Nana and Grandad's later just to see how they are and all that good stuff um, what have I got planned for today well obviously I'm going to try and find the remote control I've got my notebook here somewhere for eBay so I'm going to try and do a bit of that after I finish this job um, probably take it down to mums and do it there you know rather than anything else but yeah anyway i better crack on and i will uh i'll talk to you later i guess you know see if there's anything happening they are talking about covid19 vaccine which would be interesting but um i'm caut cautiously optimistic we have to wait and see they're hoping to start rolling it out by the first of december which i think is optimistic because it's got to be rushed through the safety checks and that's a bit worrying It'll be a while before it gets to me because they're going to start with the Elsley first and people in care homes, staff of care homes and nurses and doctors and quite rightly so. We need to protect those frontline workers first and it's going to be difficult to do but we'll worry about that when the time comes. We'll just have to keep an eye on things, see what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to get started and I will see you later. Bye. Just come up to bed. Well, upstairs, it's not late. Check on Jennifer, and as you can see, she's sound asleep. She's ever so peaceful. She's such a sweetheart. Uh, she turns herself around, and she's lying on her blanket. But that's okay, she's comfy, and her teddy bear's there. So, I've come upstairs. Um, I can see my back, right? I stamped my remote. But that's okay, I might put on an audio book in a minute and have a listen to something. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of my diamond painting. So I'm going to start my snowman. I haven't started it yet and I obviously want to get it done as quickly as I can so I can put it up on the wall um, for Christmas. So I'm going to sit up here and do a bit of this before I read my book. And then I haven't done any for a while and then next time I might do my Marilyn one. Once that's what I will as soon as I've done this. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of this for a change. I haven't done anything for a while. I know I haven't vlogged much but... You know how it goes sometimes, it's just exhausting. So I'm just going to get uh, my kit together here. It's got labels in it and little baggies to put the leftover gems in. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a go. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. It's actually gone midnight and I've been working on this for ages, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's really weird because the house doesn't look like a... I think it's a sort of a house thing in the background. That's the front door and a wreath. And the, uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah so i've done a fair bit of the white there's a lot of white <laughs> but yeah it's really nice it's been quite nice just sitting here doing this quietly um and i shall do some more maybe tomorrow it's nice to have done a good chunk i think i've done more of this one than i've done on the marilyn one nearly um but yeah that's it for tonight i will um chat to you tomorrow it's thursday yeah, I like this snowman, it's really sweet. See you tomorrow. Bye. So, it is now Thursday morning. Jennifer's in nursery, bless her, she's happy. I'm getting ready to start work. Always the same, don't want to. Got mum's this afternoon. Um, 
Got to try and pick up a prescription. They did try to deliver it, but I was out and Paul was, was ill, so he was actually asleep in bed, which is fair enough. It's only down at the chemist to go and pick it up when I go down to get Jen at lunchtime. I think they shut at one, if they shut at all. If they're shut, then I'll have to try and get it on Saturday morning. It's rather muggy. Even though it's not that warm. I always feel the heat. I always feel... I, uh, I like the cold, I do. So today's plan, get the shift done. Get Jennifer, get a prescription, a few other bits and pieces from spa. Go down to Mum's for a couple of hours. And then see what happens tomorrow's Friday. And we're off to decorate Jennifer's room, which will be nice. <laughs> no, it will be, it'll be fine. So, got some old clothes put away, ready for it. So, I get back from dropping her off and changing to them, and then change out of them to pick her up. It'll be fine. So, I've got a few minutes before I have to log in. So, I'm just going to sit here and chill and uh, play a game on my phone. That's it, really. I'll see you after I finish. It's going to be a very dull vlog this week, I will admit. Unless we do something exciting on Saturday and I can't see that happening. But you never know. Uh, mom. Right, you're watching there, ma'am. What, what were you just singing about? Are you playing with your blocks? Building a tower? What did you want to eat? What did you want to eat? You want to eat a man? I don't think you want to eat a man. A man. Did you want to eat some sorbet? Sorbet. Say it again. Sorbet. 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 And you can have some sorbet after dinner, can't you? There's a man. Here's a man. Have that one over there. No, don't see man. I'm not changing the channel. You're watching enough rubbish as it I'm is, isn't she? Daddy's turned for the man, okay. A man! <laughs> Who is the man in there, I'm telling you? He's got an egg. No, it's not even Easter. You got something in your hair, don't you? You got a bit of chip in your hair. What's it going to do? There's a bin there, Jen. Huh? Bin. Bin. Oh, that was a surprise. Okay, bin. Oh, Good girl. Wow. Good girl. Yeah. Coming up to eat your egg? Oh, wow. I mean, like yeah. You've got an egg. Things, you eat that up then. Hi guys, it's the end of the day, it's Thursday, tomorrow we're going to be painting Jennifer's bedroom um, while she's at nursery. We're probably going to do, a bit over the, do it over the weekend to get it done. Uh, so I'll show you what it looks like properly um, before we start and how far we get. So, we'll see. And then we'll order her stuff for a bed, a mattress and uh, sheets, duvet. My little girl's not little anymore. <laughs> She's sweet. Anyway, I'm going to listen to my audiobook. I might colour a bit of a pattern I've got on the go and then go to sleep. It's only half past eight, just gone. Paul's watching the football. So I thought I'd come up and read, colour, listen to an audiobook, I don't know, whatever. Just chill out for a bit. I still haven't found my remote control. I'll let you know if I ever do. I'll <laughs> see you tomorrow. Morning guys, it's Friday morning. It's about 7am. Just going to get Jennifer up, get her to nursery and then we're going to get the painting stuff out, get changed into old clothes and uh, start doing her room. So I'll show you that in a bit. Better go get her up. Here we are, Jennifer's room before the decoration. That's her. Got to move all her toys in now. We decided not to paint the wall. Well, we started and it looked dreadful. And it's the raised areas are so dark it's gonna take forever to do it. So we decided to strip the walls. So we're gonna strip all four walls. Um uh, the, uh, there's another layer of paper under that layer of paper. As you can see there's a blue layer as well. And I believe it's the same there. 
I'm going to get a friend who is a builder to come in and plaster it, just give it a skim so it's a nice flat surface for us to paint on and seal it obviously. Um, is good knowing builders, he does building, electrics, all sorts. So we'll get this wall done and then my dad's coming up to help us tomorrow and we'll strip these uh, other three because, I, yeah, I'm fine. The, it's coming off at the bottom so it needs to be done and then we can give the good room a good a good a good scrub before we put up in bed which it'll still be done by Christmas um it is hard to get some of the paper off because there's so much of it it's been on here forever it's like this when we moved in um there's more paper there and it's got paint on it but it's chipping off it's pulling off so it's just coming off I've decided it's Jennifer's bedroom we don't know how long we've been living here so and she's our only kid so uh we want her to have a very nice room as much as possible so dad just paul's just ordering food so i'm gonna go down to dad's just to pick up some stuff that next door has cleared out um he's got a load of his wife's clothes his wife died a few years ago that she's never worn shoes handbags clothing because she was a shopaholic she apparently she had over 500 pairs of shoes he got rid of loads so his son took some for it. and he was about to throw away a load yesterday and dad said no don't do that if they're all right andrew will have them she'll sell them on ebay so i'm gonna get a load of free stock including shoes handbags and possibly some ladies clothing which is great i need a kickstart and this will kick me to do it so i'm happy with that so i can't wait i've got plenty of shelving to put listed stuff so i can start photographing shoes straight away i get it listed and out of the way so i'm gonna have a break and i will see you in a little it's friday night jennifer is out it's only just about 29. jennifer went out as soon as we put her down bless her she shattered Paul's going to bed, he's been up since half past two, he couldn't sleep. And I'm shattered from just doing all the wallpaper stripping. Obviously we've only done one wall and it's still not finished, we'll be doing more tomorrow. Uh, my dad's going to come out and give us a hand and then me and Paul take it in turns to help with the stripping and play with Jen because see we've got to keep her entertained. We have got Monday off so we can finish it off then and then we'll see if the the walls need skimming and we can then ask our friend to come in and have a look. I uh, picked up some of the bags of shoes. So I'll pick up the bags of shoes that are from my mum's next door neighbour. This in the car, I'll probably get them out later and go through them. I'm tired. I still haven't had my remote control. So I'm going to plug my phone in and watch YouTube uh, on um, my phone while I finish colouring my baby dragon from Jade Summer's Baby Dragons. At the moment, this month is looking very much like a Jade Summer month. Which is okay. I have got some others I want to finish, but I'm going to do that one because I don't need because I'm using markers and I don't need to press too hard. And I've left my tray downstairs, you see. So do we have it downstairs on a Friday for tea because <sighs> we sit at the sofa um, when we have fish and chips. The rest of the week we sit at the table. Obviously, it's just 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 when we have fish and chips. You know, in the summer we sat outside and have them, and and now it's winter. We uh... oh, my hair's getting long. Sit on the sofa, watch some. Well, children's TV, obviously. Uh, so I'm going to put my headphones on and watch some YouTube. I'll see you in the morning and I'll show you what we've done and how much we've got to do. We've got a lot to do. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Not. I'm aching. I'm going to have to have another nice hot shower again tomorrow because I'm going to sweat like there's no tomorrow. But it's all good. It's great. I just wanted to have a nice room. She's so sweet. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Hi, everyone. It's Saturday afternoon. Um... I've been chilling downstairs with Jennifer and playing with her while Paul's been stripping some more wallpaper. I'll show you what he's done in a minute because I've got to go in and get her some clothes. So I'm going to go and show you that and then we're going to go down the shop to get a few bits and pieces and have a walk, get some fresh air and then I'll take over and do a bit this afternoon while he plays with Jennifer. Oh, the joy. I don't mind. And uh, hopefully we'll get a good bit of it done today because tomorrow we're going out for Sunday lunch so that'll be nice. So first meal out since before lockdown went out for drinks but not meal so i'm really looking forward to this uh, it's up at the prince which is up the road but uh, they do a nice lunch so can't wait so that's the wall we were doing yesterday there's a few little bits on there and i'll come and get them off later um they're not going to be difficult they just need brushing off basically and he's done most of this wall so See here, it's a, it's, there's a plug in there, so that needs to be skimmed. So it's yeah, ugh, it's all greasy and all. So this is where we are. 
it's got paint on it, so it's easier just to pull a bit of it off first. Rather than hack away at it and then get the ring on that. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? Because it's so thick with paint, it's easier to get some of it off like this rather than use the stripper stuff so and there's only there's a little bit that's uh, underneath that button and that button so we'll get Phil to do that as well as behind the radiator and there's just uh, these two to do and we've got tomorrow and Monday as well so Obviously, we've got to clean it out before Jen goes to bed. But uh, I'm going to move the cart so I can get her some clothes and get her dressed. Saturday evening, we've stripped a load of wallpaper. We're all at both aching, me and Paul, aren't we, Paul? We're shattered. But there's a quiz tonight. So I'm watching Max Stevens and I Buy Old Records, which is one of my favourite YouTube channels. I still have not found the remote control for my fire stick, so I might have to buy a new one. Replacement remote. But hey, it's not the end of the world. It will turn up as soon as I order a new one, guaranteed it. Um, so yeah, it's Britpop quiz tonight. We didn't do one yesterday because we were both shattered, but we had already booked the tickets for this, so we have to do it. Let's just hope I've got enough energy to press the buttons. <laughs> so yeah, I'll show you Jennifer's room as it stands tomorrow. Like I said, Sunday lunch tomorrow, I can't wait. Oh. I think I'm going to pass out as soon as I hit the bed. I want to watch my new movie which I got. It's not a new movie, it's an old movie. It's called The Beautiful Bond, what time is it? The Beautiful Blonde from Bashful Bend and it's a Betty Grable movie. And it's one I have not seen. So let's go to more places. So yeah, so having a beer, getting ready for the quiz now. I'm just getting it all set up. Um, so I'll let you know how we get on as we start. Mm. First round, he's on the last question, I think. It's very hard, it's lyrics, and Paul doesn't do lyrics, he does music. So it's very hard for him, and I don't do this sort of rip pop stuff. So I know a few of the odd ones, but I wouldn't know the lyrics, because it's not something I would sing. So <laughs> it's not going very well yet. So we'll have to wait and see where we are. No idea. Me. Right, let's have a look then. See how yeah. End of round one. I mean, is it 40, isn't it? 40 people, I think. How did you get on that, guys? Not too bad. waiting for the scores. He did say it's the hardest round in the quiz, so let's hope so. Get on with it, Wes. Do well in that first round, or, or am I looking at a pair of slap backsides? Terrible. It's, it's got, see, see Jacobs, come on. He's got to be worth being last on the quiz for, surely. No? Of course, the nine, he's done half a round. Um, dreadful, dreadful, dreadful. Ooh. Well, we'll oh, find out. Somebody's got to do one round. Because I'm going to do the scores in a minute. Here we go. It was a tough round to start, I must say. Uh, sorted for We're in 19th, so halfway, opposite. like normal. Yeah, where's Webbs? Not a bubba. Um, no. Webbs is Paul's friend, Paul Webb, and his missus. Um, they're doing it today as well. And he's not even in the top 22, is he? I wonder where he is. It wasn't an easy round. Anyway, I'm going to get another drink and some crisps because I'm bored. It's the end of round 2.23 because he cocked up some of it. He was having technical difficulties. We've gone down to 22. Paul Webb's gone up to 14th. That's someone else. That's his friend. I've told them who it is. And it's just. It's a bit of a. Jointed. Yeah, it's gone a bit peat tongue, isn't it? It's not the best. So we've just got to the end of the round. As you can tell, I'm absolutely flagging. Paul's taken over and he's dropped to 25th. 25th. So I'm shattered. Britpop's not my thing. I like some of the songs, I just don't know the bands. Yeah, like put nothing wrong with a bit of pulp. Or the Lars. Obviously, my boys, the Manics. 
But um, oh, I'm so tired. So all of them now. What's going on? Um, we'll put in. We're just. Uh, See what happens in the evil mode round. Paul's playing, he can do what he wants. Next week, it is BTTF trilogy, Back to the Future. So we will be doing that on Friday. I'll try and watch the trilogy before that, just to refresh my memory about the films. Apart from that, I bloody love them. So anyway, see how we do in the evil mode round. In for the schools from the final round, even though we cocked up one of the rounds. A bit weird. Well, but now, nice wait and see. The last round was alright though. So we came 22 in the end, which is where we actually started, wasn't it? The first round we were 22. And old Webby came in at what? 14th? 16th. Oh well, bless him. We, we beat him last time they did a quiz, which was the rock quiz, wasn't it? We beat him at that one as well, didn't we? Just by a couple of points on the last question. So got it the fastest, it was Hank Marvin, wasn't it? <laughs> it was good. That was a good quiz, we need another one like that. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go to the bathroom, take my drink upstairs with my crisps and watch a bit of my film. I'll see you up there. Hey guys, I was going to watch the film, but I'm really tired. It's, it's only about quarter past ten, the pubs have just kicked out. And I thought, I'm feeling too tired, so I'm just going to finish my beer and uh, read uh, my book. Um, I'm rereading for the three millionth time. The Colour of Magic by Terry Pratchett because you know what it's a bit of comfort reading and I like it and yeah I don't have to think too hard because I've read it that many times but there's always something new to find out in a Terry Pratchett film your book you always uh, discover something new when you read some new little quirk or a new little inside joke that you know a bit pop culture reference you may have missed before the amount of times and sometimes years after you've originally read it something will dawn on you and you'll go Oh, that happened to me in Masquerade, but they, well, if I get to that one, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. I do read them in, in chronological order, the order they were written, pretty much, so. Uh, I'm going to crack on, have a little read, have a little munch, got some crisps, because, you know, I can. Drink my beer, chill out, and I will see you tomorrow, Sunday lunch tomorrow. It's going to be nice. I'll see you then. Bye, guys. So we've done our shopping. Sunday, and we're about to go up the pub for some Sunday lunch, so I'll see you up there. Hey! Yeah, we're in the pub now. There's Jennifer and there's Grandad, there's Nana very quickly and there's Paul. Nana doesn't like being on film for some reason. I think she's beautiful, but there you go. Because she's my mum. <laughs> Jennifer, sit down please. Who's that, Jen? Who's that? Who's that? Can you say hello? Can you see yourself? Here you are. Who's that in there? Say hello. 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 Oh, you gorgeous girl. <laughs> the food, this is at the Prince of Wales. We've all had the roast beef, it looks yummy. Now we've only had peas and carrots because nobody likes cauliflower cheese except for Paul. And he's got the cauliflower cheese. Thank you very much. Ready? Do you want some Phoebe? I'll put the gravy on for you now. Everybody's having food. I'm rather warm in here now. Dessert was gorgeous. I had a Jaffa cake. Oh, well, I had a chocolate orange cake, which was like Jaffa cake with cream. And Dad had a chocolate fudge cake. Nobody else had anything apart from Jennifer, who had a bit of mine and lots of granddads. Jennifer, cheers. All right. Cheers, Jen. Good girl. There's a good girl. If I want to look at the dog. <laughs> He's a lovely dog. Do you like it, Jen? Who's that? Do you like my Marilyn Monwoof? 
Oh, now she's got a CBB's magazine, so she's playing with that instead. Hey guys, it's Sunday night. Jennifer's in bed, hopefully asleep. I'm not playing with that dog. Balls eating Doritos. I've just eaten some burger bites, and it's um, practically time for bed. So I'm going to wrap the vlog up here, and I will see you uh, tomorrow when we'll do it all again. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, a few bit different things going on uh, this time. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.